Hello friends, Jennifer Pearson here, Thistle Gypsy, with another story created, past lives story, created by the Art History Tarot for Past Lives. So this one I am going to have to do a little bit of reading in the guidebook to see if I can get some alternative um, interpretations or ways of working things into a scenario. Um, so my question here is what is the source of my income issues? And those income issues have to do with um, generating what would be an appropriate income for my um, given my my education and and etc. Backgrounds, all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's partly my perception of not not my worth as a person, or even my worth as uh, an employee, but my worth in the marketplace. Like you know, I just I've never had any concept of of you know the monetary value of um, my skills, talents, and abilities. So, um, I had two poppers, and this was a very curious popper that I'm going to look into. Twin flames. It's like, well, what can that have to do with this issue? I wasn't getting that. And then the other one was strength, and so I'm going to look into both of those in the book. But most of this made some sense kind of once I had <laughs> once I had the high middle ages or the middle ages and then I had depression now um, in this scenario what I see here happening and the title of this picture is sad news sad news at first when I looked at it I thought oh the baby's you know deceased but I don't think that's the case. I think that new baby, I mean, it could be in different settings. It could be interpreted differently. I don't know what on earth that guy is holding. It looks like something to weigh a child or something. Anyway, but he's a soldier. There's a letter there. It's hard to see if it's an official letter because my webcam won't focus. Um, but to me, this is a woman who has just found out that her soldier husband has died in battle. This gentleman is delivering that news via the letter. And that is bringing on the depression. So when I saw these three together, um, you know, I just don't see this scenario resulting in a crime and re then resulting in prison. <laughs> what I see here, or what I thought of within the context of the question, the source of my income issues, is debtor's prison. So that she ended up without any way of providing for these children, and maybe there were her husband had debts, or she, in any case she's not able to provide for herself. And this is, you know, you don't want, you don't want justice in the high middle ages. <laughs> you don't want anything to do with justice in the high middle ages. And that's, so that's just was kind of clear as a bell to me, um, was debtor's prison. And then I was thinking, well, you know, I'm not sure about the African connection. I mean, it could have been. So we think because there's the European Association here, that this may, may have happened in Europe. Well, it doesn't have to have happened in Europe. You know, societies have these ways of dealing with these situations. So, I mean, it could very well, and in fact, I got online and I looked up 
I don't know if I looked up debtor's prison or something and, and read a bit on the history and kind of across cultures about how people were punished um, for having not being able to repay debt. And, it, and they did have examples um, in Africa, not of debtor's prison, but of indentured essentially in and it's got a different name though it's not indentured slavery but um and i can't remember the name of it of course but it is a similar sort of situation so it's like you could get out of prison if you put yourself into service um for free to either the person that the debts were originally owed to um or it seemed like there was another way that it was worked around. But in any case, what you end up doing is working for nothing. And again, having no sense of what the work you're doing, what kind of monetary value it has. So, um, so that's what I got out of that. And and really, I was surprised how much sense it makes. So the twin flame thing, I'm going to look at that in the book and see if I can make sense of it. Um, one, um, I mean, it could have been that this, you know, that there was loss, you know, that depression was because this was a twin flame relationship or something, you know, and... But I don't know. One of the things that strikes me when I think about this, but it could be my own flawed thinking about what twin flame relationships represent, which is, my thinking is, that it's two people who's, who are essentially fractured parts of a soul, one of them having whatever percentage of the soul and the other having the other percentage of the soul. And and so they, and you know, often they end up polarized and so they're seeking balance and reunion. Um, and so that made me wonder uh, in shamanic terms whether or not my issue with my issue with income, um, with sources of income, understanding my own worth in the marketplace, is due to soul loss of some kind. Um, because, again, with my perception that twin flames have to do with a fracturing of, of a soul. So, um... And I just had, even though there's this trauma pictured here, um, that this could be part of, you know, the person could have been a twin flame connection and, and torn apart, unable to. Um, but again, to me, it's like, well, what does a twin flame connection have to do with money, uh, I guess? So let's look at the guidebook. Twin flame, and then we have strength, and this is a picture of Samson, as in Samson and Delilah. But, and that also was like, well, so twin flames, emotional completion. Everyone has a twin flame, though not everyone interacts with their twin flame in every lifetime. See, that's not quite how I understood it, so maybe my understanding is not correct. Sometimes one twin remains in the spirit world to guide the other. Twin flames are dichotomies, one often assuming more feminine traits while the other assumes more masculine. They are traditionally portrayed in art as heterosexual couple, but can very easily be homosexual with similar polarities in place. Uh, these relationships tend to be turning points for the soul, usually short-lived and volatile, when ill-timed. 
Although exciting to experience, they rarely result in marriage as one twin is likely to be either frightened by the connection or consider themselves superior in some way to the other, lacking the humility to embrace the full benefits of a tw twin flame connection. Traditionally, this card simply means, uh, so, so the traditional, this is the Ten of Cups, uh, simply means uh, complete emotional commitment and a good omen for happiness. So maybe it's just the fact that that clearly crashed. Um, I don't know. I don't know. So I still don't quite see what what that has to do with money. Okay, so strength. Recovery from a deep wound. Connection to animals. That's interesting. Um, you are carrying a deep wound that spans lifetimes. It is highly likely that this hurt has occurred in more than one past life. So maybe just the money issues have occurred in more than one past life. Whatever your deepest wound may be now, your guides are letting you know you have experienced this pain more than once. Great. <laughs> so I have I have this whole loss resulting in poverty, resulting in uh, some form of devalued employment in more than one lifetime. Um, so the hurt is more intense for you than it might be for others. This card could also indicate a past life connection to one of the animals in your home or an affinity for animal communication that you developed in a past life. Well, I don't see how it's relevant to a question, so I'm not going to pursue that. So, so that strikes me as having to do with opening, cracking open the jaws of the lion. You know, there's it's a it's big jaws. <laughs> it goes deep. Um, so anyway, that's it. the main thing I got out of that was some sort of um, bondage of some kind resulting from um, a, a double loss, and this still happens to this day with many women, of losing the income source, the stability of the partner, and ending up potentially in a debtor's prison um, and and or some kind of indentured servitude. Okay, do we have more time for one more? How many more do I have? I've got two more, and the next one is pretty involved. So I'm going to end this one, and we will have a part three. Again, just so that you can see some of the scenarios that come up. 